it numbs things up in a few minutes, and then we're, we're able uh, to do the procedure. The nice thing about this procedure is it's instantaneous. You can see the results right away. So you know, we're, we're pretty conservative here. So what we'll typically do is uh, you know, inject a little bit. The, the patient can look in the mirror, get a sense for you know, what we're accomplishing, and you know, give us some feedback about if they want more or if they want to stop. So we're able to kind of customize the, the filling the result you know, right there for the patient. Is there a specific filler that you use to treat the lips versus other areas of the face? So when you talk about hyaluronic acid fillers, there's two major manufacturers. One is called Restylin and one is called Juvederm. We tend to use a lot of Juvederm here because they also make Botox and um, the company provides a lot of benefits and rewards if you use them together. So we tend to use a lot of Juvederm. And Juvederm has a, a product called Ultra Plus. It's a little a little thicker, a little harder, and it holds up in the lip a little bit better. So we typically will use that filler to provide volume. They also make a filler called Vobella, uh, which is a little thinner. It's designed to go in fine little wrinkles. So we'll use that for those little uh, nuisance vertical lip lines, commonly called smoker lines, if a patient has uh, some of those. We can do that at the same time. And how often or how long do you, would you say that lip fillers last? Uh, that's a good question. So lip fillers typically last so, a, about a year. So they're not a permanent treatment. Generally about a year. Some get more, some get less out of the treatment. The nice thing about it, though, you, you can add to it at any time. So if you do a treatment and you know six months later you're, you're wishing things were a little fuller, we can always add to it. And that's what, what we commonly see, you know, women adding to it you know, several months later. And do you offer any sort of permanent option for fuller lips? Sure. So for that woman who is investing a lot in lip fillers and wants a more permanent solution, there is a lip implant, believe it or not. And uh, this is a plastic, a soft plastic implant that goes into the lip. So this is a, a surgical procedure. It's minor surgery, something we do with local anesthesia in our office operating room. We're able to numb up the lip. It does involve two small incisions, and then this implant is placed into the lip to add volume. So that's a nice way to permanently add volume to the lip. The downside is I find that while the implant can uniformly provide volume to the lip, it can't really shape the lip. So it's not uncommon for a woman who has a lip implant to even then go ahead and do a little bit of, sh a little bit of shaping with fillers on top of their implants. So we commonly see that, but that can provide a significant amount of volume to the lip. Okay. But I would normally start a patient off with using just in fillers, the, in, the injections, because that's a simpler approach. And then, you know, down the road, if they're wishing they had more volume, we can always uh, discuss the possibility of a more permanent solution with an implant. Okay. So you would say you would probably always recommend the lip filler versus to, having surgery then? Yeah. To start off, we would normally... Uh, steer somebody towards using fillers. Okay. Yeah. Is there ever a situation where you would recommend the lip augmentation over filler for an individual patient? Well, um, only if somebody's had a, a lot of fillers in the past and they're mm -hmm. just looking for a more permanent solution. And we do see that. Lip implants are not that common. So, we'll, you know, we'll have people drive up from Philadelphia or the Lehigh Valley, that's for some reason a common place for this sort of thing. And they'll come up and, you know, have a lip implant placed but they've already been through the experience of having fillers in the past. Okay, great. And with the lip implants, you say it's a local procedure. What sort of like downtime is there with that? Yeah, that can have a bit of downtime because there can be some swelling and the lips sore. You have to stick with softer foods for uh, you know a couple of days and apply a lot of, a lot of ice. And you might need to hide out for a bit. So um, that does have a little bit of downtime. Whereas the uh, lip injections, that has no downtime really. People have those injections and they go right back to work. So it's a pretty quick recovery with the injections. Okay, great. Well, thank you for your time today, Dr. Remington. Uh, yeah, thank you. Very timely because uh, people with those <laughs> fuller lips for Valentine's Day. It's that time of year. <laughs> well, thank you. Great. That's a wrap on this episode of the Beautiful, Confident, and Safe podcast brought to you by Lewisburg Plastic Surgery and Dr. Normington. Please be sure to subscribe to our show so that you never miss an episode. 
And for more information on Lewisburg Plastic Surgery, please visit us online at lewisburgplastic.com or find us on Facebook at Lewisburg Plastic Surgery and Dermatology or on Instagram at Lewisburg Plastic. We'll see you next time.